Okay, I uh, accomplished getting the bottom row in the ground level. So the this is a couple hours later though, and I'm running out of time now to finish doing this. So I'm gonna have to give, put an update here, and then I'm gonna cover th everything up and get out of here because it's gonna rain the rest of the weekend. But uh, I haven't cemented anything together yet. I've just kind of laid stuff up so you can see what it's going to look like when it's done. Uh, down here, I laid a course down in the dirt. And this is how I'm going to lay the bricks for the keyhole part. That way the fire will be able to get air from all four sides. And that grate. I can find another one that one's getting pretty nasty but that'll be the grate and this will be the end of the keyhole part that we cook off of and we can also with that grate cook on this I got lucky and found some blocks small enough that this grate would fit on top of them because most of them were bigger around or had a bigger circle diameter and I would have had to come up with something else to use that grate on this but this works perfect and this is small enough, I'm going to be able to make it, probably make some kind of a plywood cover to go over it so I can keep the rain and snow out of this once I get it put together. I don't really have an easy way to get water down here to mix mortar or anything, so I'm going to just use construction adhesive when I put these together. But This is what it looks like at this stage. Like I said, if I had the rest of the day, I would start laying these blocks and make it permanent, but we won't be using it for a while, so until I get it done. And, like everything else, time is always a constraint. When you got to drive an hour each way to get here and only get a couple hours to work, and you got to deal with weather situations, got to got to get done what you can. So, I'll walk around here and get a few more different angles of this. I'll have to do some cutting on them bricks to get them to fit just right. And I may have to mortar or get a little concrete or something to fill in them gaps on the ends maybe. But we'll see what happens when we get done. But it is level. Took me a long time to get that accomplished, but it's level from all four directions, so now, it ain't that important, but it was two inches higher on, or lower on one side than it was on the other, and that was way too far off, so took a little time and got that situated. Now maybe everything will work out when we finish getting it together. And I'll post all three of these when I get them get this finished so it kind of flows better anyway that's what I've been doing today and hope this helps I got these blocks by the way they're number 22's at the Ace Hardware store in their uh, lawn and garden part outside it's kind of a red and black mix. They had tans and regular just plain concrete looking, but these look the best for what I wanted to do. So I don't know if you can tell that they've got a little bit of a black and red tint to them, but I guess I'm going to hurry up and get everything picked up and get out of here. So when I get it done, I'll make one more.